on this last video about Mr. Swiss Perset as the new Secretary General of the Council of Europe and its inverted six logo. Many people left the following great comment that the 12 stars of the EC European Community form the other two missing sixes, as six and six makes 12. So the logo does say indeed 666, meaning that the Council of Europe operates under the 666 banner, that the Council of Europe is 666. So Mr. Perset, their new boss, is the Council of Europe so to speak, then when Swissy Perset is the Council of Europe, then Swissy Perset is 666, or the man whose number is 666. Moreover, another great comment revealed that Perse in Greek, as the first letters of Perset means the destroyer in Greek, as Set or Seth is the destroyer, as in Perset, the house of Seth. So here you see the destroyer, Set, and Perset, the name of the new secretary general his name is perset in demotic pharaonic it means the house of set the destroyer and perse in greek apparently there was a greek commenter on the, the last video it means the destroyer and here again the logo i did see the 12 stars actually but I'm probably getting old and tired and uh, just worn out and burn out. I just didn't see that 12 is 6 and 6. So I thank you guys. So hopefully I can retire soon and I'll let you go on with it. Eh? So it does say, in fact, 666. Six, six. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this here, if you put it upside down, you get a six. This I saw. And uh, so I thank you guys. We'd better keep an eye on Mr. Perset Ernst Blofeld here until we find a better one. If there is a better one at all. Here we can read about the goals of world domination out of the Alps by Mr. Ernst Blofeld, which might be a fictional story, though gradually containing more and more touch with a bitter reality, as all movies carry some truth of the actual plans of our masters in them. So here we can read about Ernst Stavro Blofeld, another middle name, eh? Could say Ernst S. Blofeld, <laughs> like Donald J. Trump. So here's the picture again with the cat and the scar all over his face. So I'll read it for you here. Ernst Stavro Blofeld, and middle name is important, eh? is a fictional villain in the James Bond series of novels and films created by Ian Fleming. A criminal mastermind with aspirations of world domination. Now, what do they say about world domination here? Oh, okay. Um, he is the arch enemy of British MI6, that means military intelligence 6. 
agent James Bond. Blofeld is head of the global criminal organization Spectre. Interesting. There are seven letters, so that's the concept of three and four altogether. And maybe the two, it makes up two words, probably. Uh, having a meaning, you know. The, the if you take out the uh, the three a three letter word and a four letter word, I haven't thought about this before. And anyway, Spectre is of course the uh, the principality in the Alps. It stands for that. And Spectre is commonly referred to by the code name, or Blofeld is referred to by the code name number one within his organization. The character was originally written by Fleming as a physical, massive, and powerful built man, like Mr. Perset. Right? Yes, the same skull, the same, same baldy man, right? both out of Switzerland. Standing around, around 6'3", which is 1 meter 90, and weighing uh, 127 uh, kilograms, who had become flabby with a huge belly. Well, the Mr. Ernst Blofeld story and its Spectre organization carries a stunning resemblance with the principality of all evil in the Alps, about which only an initiated member into the Brotherhood could possibly write a book about. Thanks for your great comments and collaboration in putting the puzzle together. Well done. With such well educated viewers, as yourselves, I can soon retire and let you take over the job. So here you can see Mr. Perset on a huge Muslim carpet, a huge red Muslim rug. He's visiting his uh, Muslim friends here with a dagger here. And here you see his uh, brachycephalic skull form. You know, the typical uh, Swiss skull form. And I made a video about it. And look, the, uh, the typical uh, thing about brachycephalic, which is the round skulls, there's no, there's no back of the head here. Normally there should be European skulls, you know, they have a, a back of the head here. But this goes straight on, the head goes straight on to the neck and into the shoulders and into his legs up uh, all the way down to his toes. There, there's no this lump here behind it, which, which Europeans have. He doesn't have it, you know. And I wrote down here, Mr. 666. It's not that I, I'm saying he is, uh, he is the 666. No, because I don't do these sort of things. I'm not religious enough, you know, to be an expert on this. And actually, I'm not religious at all. I'm just saying that his name or this number is related to the logo of the Council of Europe. And as he is the Secretary General of the Council of Europe, well, he sort of stands for this uh, number 666, which we could all see in the logo. And uh, so he is, in fact, Mr. 666. This guy, he is now the Secretary General of the Council of Europe. So he is 666. That's all what I'm trying to say. I'm not religious enough to say anything else. With Mr. Perset here being the head of the Council of Europe, and it's ECHR for European Court of Human Rights. It is for sure that Mr. 666 Perset will do nothing concerning the infraction and violation of human rights against young children by a certain type of women 
what I witnessed in Strasbourg, the very place where Mr. Perset's European Court of Human Rights are. I witnessed throughout the whole summer of 2024 these tattooed women being extreme aggressive and hateful towards their very young offspring. And I started pondering about this fairly new phenom phenomenon. How could a mother be so aggressive and hateful towards their own sons? And I literally witnessed the poor kids getting demolished from the inside out at such an early age of about four or five years old. These were not loving parents correcting their offspring as part of a potential disciplinary upbringing. No, what I was witnessing here in eastern France and in the very city of the Mr. Persets ECHR European Court of Human Rights, it was pure hatred with psychological violence by heavily tattooed beast women. And from the moment onwards, I noticed it once, I started to discover this new phenomen phenomenon every day and everywhere. And I recognized certain returning patterns. Every time the alleged mothers were heavily tattooed, every time the victim child was male and never female and very young, every time these beast women were shouting for no apparent reason and with such ferocity. Every time I sat in the McDonald's for internet connection, this strange phenomenon seemed to be concentrated in and around the McDonald's. While Ronald McDonald was collecting money for Ronald McDonald family rooms, in children's hospitals all over the world. And every time I witness this, no one interfered, no one stood up for these poor defenseless souls. And I thought, how can they be the true parents treating a child like this? Until it dawned upon me that in France, since 2013, the pink list killers can legally buy some kids on the internet and keep them at home like pets or whatever they want. And apparently 300,000 kids are currently forced to live at pink list killer homes in France. So here you can read it. It says destroy the patriarchy. It's made by these ones here. I don't want to pronounce it. They got tattoos like kill the patriarchy, uh, burn the patriarchy t-shirts. I also filmed pink t-shirts with kill the patriarchy. So only in this image here, it says destroy the destroy, kill and burn the patriarchy. Oh, isn't that lovely? And then they have the rainbow color. And as I told you, well, first of all, I'm not religious, but I read the Bible and it said in the Bible that um, after the uh, deluge, God will not uh, punish humanity again, uh, the ones who are disobedient. And as a promise to that, he showed the rainbow. So these ones here, they apparently they do this because they defy God and say, well, God, you promised it. You can't break your promise. You're never going to punish us again. Look, we're doing this. Now, that's, this is the reason why they show the rainbow color. And female pink list killers 
correlate to slogans like Kill the Patriarchy, which they exhibit on tattoos, t-shirts, the internet, and on demonstrations. So apparently they hate a man, males, and little boys, which is quite obvious by such a troublesome behavior I witnessed this summer. Patriarchy comes etymologically from the Latin word pater, meaning father. So their slogan, kill the patriarchy, means kill the fathers. Well, isn't that exactly what we can see happening today? Two tattooed pinkless killer females with children and no more fathers killed the patriarchy all right so here it says no more fathers destroy the patriarchy well this is probably what they mean with it you know if they say destroy the patriarchy well, there's no more fathers it comes from pater meaning father there are no more fathers, you know, there's just tattooed pinkless killer ladies. You know, they can mold the boy into whatever they want, you know. Not anymore after the image of the creation or the image of God, but uh, something completely different. And by the way, you know, these children have no chance at all. They got nobody backing them up. All social workers, they're mostly pinkless killers. All politicians, they are Freemasons. They're all on key positions. The mayor, uh, everywhere. The general, the colonel even, you know. They're all in these secret orders. You know, this is what it means. Destroy the patriarchy. I mean, literally. I mean, they even say it, as they always say it, apparently. They have to say it, otherwise they can't. They can't do it, apparently. So this is how the um, celestial law works, apparently. So they say it. They walk around with it, you know, on t-shirts. Destroy the patriarchy, and you see this. Um, I don't even want to call it families, you know, with no fathers. And these poor children, poor boys. So here you can read about it in the officially official Triple M, which is the Our Masters Mega Media. I call it the Triple M. Uh, so this is by a big French newspaper. So this is the official channel. It's them saying it. So it must be even more than 300,000. So enfant, you know, you know, that's a child. And, I mean, you can punch it out or copy it and uh, copy-paste and put it in the translator. Maybe I'll do it for you afterwards uh, because I know you guys. Uh, most of you, you don't show not very much initiative. Most of you are just uh, consumers. There's some good ones amongst you, though, but um, very few. That's what I learned over these 14 years I'm uh, here on YouTube. So here it says, in France there are 200,000 enfants, children, living with the pink lace killers. And here they talk about even 300,000. Uh, uh, yes, it's, uh, well, I don't want to translate all this. It says this word here, you know, 300,000. If they say 300,000, you know, it must it probably is half a million at least. So here you can read the entire article. I am here. Uh, it said there are, in France, there are 133,000 uh, pink list killer couples. If they say it's. Again, 33, you know, it's 33,000, the word, the, uh, the number 33 in it. So it probably means it's a lot more. Okay, I'll try to put it in the, um, in the translator for you. 
So here I put only the first part in the Google Translator for you because there's a uh, specific amount of words apparently one can translate. Or well, maybe it's up to 5,000 apparently. I don't know. Um, so if you want to see the rest yourself, you can do it yourself. And here's the English text. You can see 200,000 and here it says 300,000. And this is the original French one. So, but the machine, even the machine had a little bit of problems with it, you know, to, uh, to swallow all this spinkly killer stuff. You know, even the machine couldn't swallow it. I wouldn't like to swallow it myself either. And isn't it a fact that all serial killers had a very dominant mother? and no father. What will become of all these poor defenseless souls I witnessed this summer getting psychologically demolished by these tattooed beast women? Well, I guess we all know the answer, right? So it says dominant mothers statistically create serial killers. And that's a fact. Next question. What I've been witnessing this summer everywhere and all the time, was it on purpose or unintentionally? To answer that question, we must look at history again. And the fact how during the Nazi era of World War II, Pink list killers were everywhere on key positions, especially working with young children like Jutta Rüdiger, whom you can see here, being the head of the Nazi Hitler Youth for Girls, and pink list killer pedophile Baldur von Schirach, an aristocrat, the head of the Hitler Youth for Boys. So you can see all these, it was called the BDM, the Bund Deutscher Mädels. You know, and she was a pink list killer, always with children, you know. And um, she turned all the minds of all these young children, very young children sometimes, you know, into jaywalker haters, into racism, into genocide, into war, killing, murder. And it's a fact. She was openly, even openly, a, a pink list killer. Many of the Nazis. And I show here in this many, uh, in this video here, which I made um, uh, two years ago, I think. Yeah, in, in 2022. The title is Arrogance is the Mother of Ignorance, the Exclusion Game, on the same channel. So go watch it. And I think I put here in the um, description also the other videos. I made more videos about the pink list killers being among the Nazis. And they, all, they always are. These are other videos. Um, I don't know what all it's all that about actually. Okay, so this is a fact. Well, I only do facts. And uh, I fear there's something very dangerous going on here again. And then here. Uh, in this, uh, it's on my other channel, Homeland Security. I give some more proofs with names and facts in these three videos, part one. So just write down the title somewhere and then type it in your in your computer or whatever. And this one too about Alice Weidel. I will talk some more about Alice Weidel. Well, here I get the proofs. I can't possibly, you know, do this again because the, the video I showed you before was eight and a half hours. So the best thing is to go watch these videos. 
And here's part two, this one as well. This was the head of the, um, the Austrian Nazi party. I don't recall his name now. And he was also a Pinkless killer. You know, Nazis, neo-Nazis, well, it's all Pinkless killers, really. And uh, there are weird things going on and they prepare things. So you go into the video section here. These are all the videos or some of the videos on the other channel, Homeland Security. Uh, there you go. So you go in Homeland Security, go into the video section, scroll down, and you can uh, find them. Uh, they are preparing the next war, as we know, and the next concentration camps. So they have to get the children and brainwash them, you know, make serial killers out of them. It's, it's going on, you know, just, just look around, right? Eh? We have to look at history to understand it all and relate to history. And um, I urge you also to read the book, uh, The Pink Swastika. Um, not everything is it, as I'm showing in my videos, but uh, there's a lot of... And there is a lot of things that I'm not showing in my videos that are in the book, some, a lot of names. So, go read it. It was made by a, a, a Protestant priest, American, and a, um, a Jay Walker from the JJ base. Very good book. Absolutely necessary to read that. So, wouldn't it be far more practical to have these kids right at home under the total dominance of two pinklist killers? to raise the next psychopath Nazi army of serial killers. Instead of creating entire huge Nazi organizations for children like the Hitler Youth and the BDM Bund für Deutsche Mädels with pinkless killers at the head of them to do the job. And so much more inconspicuous, like all of a sudden the next psycho Nazi army being there and no one saw it coming. Except homie Ross, a homeless non-person at the internet in a McDonald's. Here, look at the pink list killer Alice Weidel, whom you can see here. She's the head of the German AFD Nazi party, who together with another female pink list killer bought two little boys on eBay and live in, yes, Switzerland, where my three children don't have a father anymore. And all this stuff, which you can see here, is legal and normal in the base of Pharaoh that financed Adolf and Hamas. Alice Weidel, Alice Weidel, the new Führer of Germany, is an extremely dominant woman ruling over two little boys with a very dominant woman as a surrogate mother. Thus, drastically augmenting the possibility of creating two future Nazi serial killers. So, you can see this here, like in my video. I made it four and a half years ago. Here's the title. It's on my other channel. Just write down the title or just scroll down in the video section. I showed it before to you as well. And here, like here, you see another one of their nice uh, outings, they say. You know, like, uh, yeah, it's a t shirt, as you can see, here the arms. You know? It says, Slay the Patriarchy. You know, it's so funny, that the slay like, for Christmas. Eh? Daddy, was, Daddy was slain on Christmas. Like, no more Father Christmas stuff, right? Eh? Mm. 
in a still a drone enforcement behavior. How dare they slay the patriarchy. No more fathers. You know, patriarchy, as I told you, is from pater. So literally, in Latin, it means the father. Liter literally, patriarchy, it means the fatherhood. The pink hood. Yeah, look, if I punch this slay the patriarchy here in, in, uh, in Google Images, you know, it's page after page, pullovers, I don't know what, th what this is, uh, ba even baby, you know, uh, pajamas here with the, in, in all different here for the baby. Well, isn't it nice, you know? Uh, here, even stuff to put in their hair, it's its all over. They're inciting violence, you know. It's an appeal for violence. And Google, you know, who own YouTube, they have no problem with this, right? Well, absolutely no problem. Because then they say, well, slay, you know. Slay, there's nothing wrong with the slay. Look, this is a slay here. And oh, why folding the hands like this? And this is a sleigh. You know, it's funny. It's for Christmas. You know, this is a sleigh. You see it. It's Father Christmas. You know, he's, he's the patriarch or whatever. So it's, uh, it's hidden violence, you know. They, um, and all the initiated ones who belong to it, they know very well what it's about. And also all the Freemasons, politicians, and of course, Google. And we, if I talk too much about it or say the wrong names, or that's why I say pink list killers, it says here that, you know, they want to kill people. And I'm pink listed because when I talk about it, you know, they, they, uh, they, uh, they pull the bell and my video will be taken off. So I'm, I, I need to take, you know, uh, precautions and make my own vocabulary. So, but... Let me show you something. So now I've got here slay written like this, the patriarchy. Now wait a minute. So now I write down the real word, what they, what they mean to say, like slay, S-L-A-Y, which means to kill, to murder, to, to, to assassinate. And now I get both. Look here, it says, yeah, with a dagger even, slay the patriarchy. This is like a tattoo which the pink list killer ladies they put on their you know on, on their bodies. Yeah, slay the patriarchy. And here they, again the other one, slay the patriarchy. So it means if I uh, ask for slay, like the original form, automatically I get this S L E A G H, like a slay, the Christmas slay, the sledge. So it means even the machine knows what I'm talking about, you know, if you say slay the patriarchy. Like if it's being written like this, even the machine knows that in fact written like this, it means actually this. You see, it's a proof. Here again, slay the patriarchy. They, they want to kill us, people. And here, slay the patriarchy. Slay, uh, here again, the other one. Here again, on a cop, it's everywhere. It's basically everywhere. And Google has no problems with it, of course not. You know, here with these fingers here. You know, slay, and oh, look at this one here, with the symbol here. Slay the patriarch. Well, isn't that charming, eh? Slay the patriarch. I, I don't want to look at all of this, but maybe you can do it. Uh, what is, I don't know what it says there. They want to kill us. They're very smart, you know, going after the children. You know, like Jutta Rüdiger, the Nazis, it was full of pink lace killers, really. They're not victims. Every time they can, you know, they... They murder humanity using Nazis, using the, the Bund Deutscher Mädels, using the Hitler Youth and all that. And then they say, we are the victims. So the, the perpetrators, you know, they just skip in, into the, uh, they just fall into the victim's role, you know. 
just like the Hamas is doing. You know, they're doing the same. You know, they, they murder many people and they say, oh, we poor ones. Oh, the jaywalkers are so bad. Please help us, you know. Yeah, exactly the same. And they're teaming up together, the Hamas and these ones. You know, why? Well, look at the histories, you know. These ones, you know, at all key positions uh, in the Nazi era, they were in all key positions. Jutta Rüdiger and all that, and, and Baldo von Schirach, Ernst Röhm, you know, and the the Nazis, they, oh, because of this Swiss guy, um, the two Swiss guys, uh, well, I forgot their names, they, um, they integrated uh, Nazism and fascism into uh, into Islam, basically. Um, uh, they, they teamed up together. Uh, now we got Islam or fascism. You know, it's official. You know. There's nowhere else in the in the world where um, Hitler, um, Adolf's book Mein Kampf is being read or and is being sold. In so many copies, as in the, as by the Muslims, you know, really charming, isn't it? They are together; they're teaming up. Do you want to go to war with Russia, China, Iran, North Korea, and the Muslim world in order to defend this here in Russia? China, Iran, North Korea, or the Muslim world, you don't see these things like slay the patriarchy, or even, as you can see here, poison the patriarchy. You know, here it says, poison the patriarchy. And here's a tombstone here, some grass growing here, some flowers, the daisies, yeah. It says, patriarchy. The patriarchy is dead. Yeah, poison the patriarchy. Uh, and how does evil poison the patriarchy? Well, with hormones, of course, and make soy boys out of our sons. And I made this video about it 10 years ago. Uh, it says here six years ago, but the first time I made this video, this is a re-upload. I think it's it's ten or twelve years ago. And um, here I'm still using the old their words like this one here and this and this and this. So I will change this now before they will uh, take off the video and. Uh, Maybe they didn't see it, so it was still there. I'll take it all off and change it. So, poison the patriarchy. This is how they poison the patriarchy. Because with this, all the uh, hormones, the patriarchy will completely disappear if it hasn't been done already. So, here is the new title. I left the, uh, the image here. Because it's a good image, you see this woman, she's disgusted by her own child, you know, she's not happy with it. Uh, because of the hormones and because of the, uh, the idea, like to slay the patriarchy and all that. And um, so I even left, left you a fresh comment, which I just put there today. So go and watch the video. Uh, it only has, it doesn't even has, have uh, 3,000 uh, views, so here it is. It's a pity though, because I really like the uh, alliteration of the Hordes of H, the H-O-M-O-S, Hordes of H, but okay, well, it's safer like this, eh? and I don't like their words anymore, Any, anyway, never liked them. Yeah, look, when I punch poison the patriarchy here in uh, in Google, you know, what what all comes out here? Look, it's pure witchcraft. Here it also says poison the patriarchy. This is the witchcraft of the 
of the 21st century. Yeah, bottles and 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 look at all at all the energy they put into it. It's incredible. Uh, it's it's all over. T-shirts, everything, you know, chains. How they portray their hatred, you know. You look all the bottles. It says, you know, death to the patriarchy. Yeah, poison the patriarchy. Here, yeah, I don't know what this is like. Buttons. He also poisoned. It's it's all over. Appeal for extreme violence and poisoning the man. You know, of course, you know the the hatred you see here. Of course, you know that it means like kill the man, murder the man. You know, all this. You know, yeah, look, Google is smiling. You know, they have the same colors. You know, the same rainbow colors. Anyway, and don't be mistaken. Put in. Also wants this, and so does his pal Trump, who are just telling the people what they want to hear. Look how they how he's smiling. You know, look at his eyes. You know, he doesn't smile like that to the people, not even to his own people. Right? And it says they just tell the dumb slaves what they want to hear. So the dumb slaves say to themselves, Oh, he's a good one. I like what he says. And look how they're holding each other there like this. The good pals. Eh? So here you can see some more Western women with a charming T-shirt. Poison the patriarchy. Kill the man. There's a bottle of poison here as well. Poison the man with fire here. It burns, you know, if you take this poison. Here the Western women, they even walk with t-shirts. Bury the patriarchy, like kill the man, poison the man, uh, smash the man, slay the man, and bury them afterwards. So, honestly, <laughs> I don't get it where this absurd idea of the degenerated West comes from. And that Western slaves accept this, that a woman is sacred, always innocent, and can do whatever she wants. Well, it was, of course, all made possible through the Jus Prime Noctis, when Pharaoh's nobility raped Europe's women in their medieval castles. Thus, establishing an alliance between Europe's women and the Pharaonic masters. So here you see the guy of Pharaoh's nobility with these um, dogs. Uh, the Russian Tsars had these dogs here. Here you see uh, some women coming to the castle and making the alliance, you know. And this is the result of it all. It says, Jus prime noctis, in, La in Latin it means the right or the law of the first night. So the first night before of her marriage, before she had her husband, she had to go and, and sleep with the lord of the castle. This is how the pharaonic genetics also came into the blood of, um, of about 2% of the Europeans. So it says again, Jus Prime Noctis and its result, which is the alliance of Pharaoh's nobility with the European women. Consequently, Pharaoh and his new alliance burned all the good European women left at the stakes, saying they were witches, as these good women didn't want to betray their own man. And today, the very few good women left in the West remain silent out of mortal fear. You could ask Pharaoh's police and Justice Department in the West about this situation, why they will always favor the female over the male. But 
they won't answer you. This chivalrous attitude towards females has degenerated into a murderous appeal for violence, as in slay the fatherhood, poison the boys, kill the patriarchy, send the man into war, let them die, and the females take over control and raise the boys new from scratch without any male interference of the fatherhood. This is the perfect Horus Matrix. Short. Isis was pregnant with son Horus, and Seth, as in Perset, House of Set, and Lord of Darkness, killed the father, Osiris. So female Isis could raise Horus alone, as in slay the patriarchy. So here it says the Horus Matrix. I explained you this many times, so I, I don't tell you here the long story, just very short. And this is, of course, Osiris, the father who was slain, like slay the patriarchy. No more fatherhood. This is, in fact, against which the new pre-crime laws should protect us from, or at least how the propaganda narrative goes. But instead of that, Swissy uses their octagon pre-crime software against defenseless family fathers like Homie Ross and many others. Yes, I already told you 10 years ago that the Swiss pre-crime software is in fact called Octagon. Well, they use the name Octagon in English with an A, but of course it comes from the, from the name of the Templar base Octagon. So I give it the original pronunciation of Octagon, because that's where it comes from. That's what I've been telling you all the time. So pre-crime laws are there so they can put you away before you've even done something or anything wrong. In Switzerland, they've been using the pre-crime laws already for about 20 years using psychiatrists to decide over one's freedom and now the Swiss octagon machine giving the prognostics for innocent humans whether to go to prison or not. And everything tested on the dumb slaves in Switzerland and gotten approval will come in the entire world afterwards. As we can see, England totally degrading at the moment, with many political prisoners like Peter Lynch, Stephen Yaxley and hundreds of others, due to the new pre-crime laws set in motion, allegedly using the Swiss AI octagon machines, which Swissy had already tested on Homie Ross. I wonder how far the collusion and conflict of interest goes with pre-crime business companies writing the new laws deciding over humanity's freedom. And by the way, I call the place still England because it is not the United Kingdom. It is not a kingdom at all, but it is a horizontal rule Republic showing a king and all the tourist attraction around the royals. So here you see all the computers and you know this is what what's actually actually happening. And we see it now expanding all over the world. And it's been going on in the at the mother base, in the motherland, 
uh, for a long time. And now it's getting you know, all over the world. And here it says, pre-crime laws. You know, they've got laws nowadays uh, with which they, they can just put you away before you have even been thinking about something illegal, you know. And here it says, predictive policing in Switzerland. The Swiss Octogon AI software. And the name under which they sell it and under which they um, expand it to the whole world is Octagon. Because this is English, an octagon. But the German name for an octagon is this, Octogon. So here you can read about it. There's not very much to find because they keep it a bit secret or a lot secret actually. Uh, the people have, are not aware of it at all at this moment, you know. So here it says the Swiss police automated um, crime predictions. Well, and here it says uh, Swiss police forces regularly use risk assessment questionnaires such, such as the Swiss tool Octog Octagon or Octogon. And here as well. Yeah, the octagon. I don't pronounce it the English way, so that you know, yeah? It, they call it predictive policing. So the predictive policing is like in the case of, um, of England, with uh, all the political prisoners like Stephen Yaxley and before uh, Julian Assange and, and uh, Peter Lynch, uh, political prisoners who got uh, killed by the uh, the, the uh, prison system, and you know the machine has calculated if these political prisoners like Stephen Yaxley and and Peter Lynch and hundreds of others, maybe thousands, are gonna let be let free, the problems for the system will be far used far far worse. And um, even with uh, people being hurt and um, more problems for the system and more illegal actions coming up due to the fact that these political prisoners are still free uh, on the streets. So the machine uh, calculates these sort of things and this is predictive policing and Due to the uh, the machines like the Swiss Octogon, um, the pre-crime laws are already set in um, uh, at work, and this is why all these in the um, in England, all these people, uh, innocent people, are in prison at the moment because uh, we're ruled we're being ruled already by the machine by the uh, artificial intelligence, and this is why Octogon. So this here is from an article and in German, and here it says, Die in der Schweiz viel verwendete Software Octogon, and the rest. So I, I'll give you a translation from the um, Google thing, translate afterwards. So, you know, they love their new gadgets, you know, for the total control over, this, uh, over Pharaoh's slaves. But apparently, uh, it doesn't work yet how they want to have it work. But this is from 2018. Now we're six years on. And apparently, uh, they're, they're quite satisfied up, uh, with it. And that's why we see uh, the things in England uh, deteriorating. Uh, because now, it's uh, apparently, it's a success for them. So... There's much more in the article, but you, you know, you can find it yourself, hopefully. So here is the translation of this part of a longer uh, article. And I just took this part because here it shows uh, the Octogon. It says the Octogon software, which is widely used in Switzerland, you know, their new gadget, you know. Um, basically, in normal um, terms, in normal language, 
what they're doing, you know, they well, first of all, they put people away um, before they've done anything wrong. You know, they haven't done anything against the law. The, the laws, by the way, are not any more existent at this moment. There are pre-crime laws, uh, predictive policing. Now, in normal terms, in normal language, for the people, in normal slang, you know, uh, this is when they don't like your face, they put you in prison. This is what it is, basically. They don't like your face, and you'll be put behind bars. Just like in the Middle Ages. We're, we're back in the Middle Ages. We probably always were. I bet you the pre-crime <coughs> laws and their Swiss octagon machines won't do anything against this here. And as usual, only target strong, healthy, resisting men. It is also a fact that statistically 69% of the world's serial killers are pink list killers. And we see them doing this appeal for violence you know, all over the internet and on the streets and all this. So it's not really a, uh, a surprise to see this. Right? So here it says, it was uh, published here in this thing here. And 69% of the serial killers in this study were pink list killers. Yeah, pink list killing among serial killers statistics. I don't remember where I got this from, um, the article. So, anyway, you can see it in this video here. I just showed it before. Here's the title, and it's on my other channel, Homeland Security. And here are some links. Maybe, maybe it's one of these links. Oh, check it out. And uh, so 69% of the serial killers uh, were pink list killers. And don't you think it has stuff? Right? Here it says, Biderman's chart of coercion and young male children are deliberately being coerced into monsters. And for that, it would be helpful to watch my video, Biderman's chart of coercion, the Swiss way of controlling humanity, here on my channel. In order to get a full understanding of the concealed wickedness and perfidy going on in our times, because all the eight rules of the Biderman chart of coercion are being premeditatively applied on these defenseless children. Here it says, by the man's chart of coercion, working on the deep unconscious mind and the conscious, and being mirrored unto the conscious mind and all the actions related to it. And here, on the same channel, you can see this uh, particular video. I made it nine months ago, apparently. The name is Spiderman's Chart of Coercion, the Swiss Way of Controlling Humanity. Go and watch it if you haven't done it yet, because it's all related to this praxis um, I'm discussing here. And our future is very much related to it and in danger. I see them fabricate the new line of psychopathic serial killer concentration camp guards in front of our eyes. So here it says, the pink list killers and their product. This is the little product. And here you see the pink list killers. This is the head of the Hitler Youth, Baldur von Schirach, nobility high nobility, 
This one here is Jutta Rüdiger, also a pink list killer and the head of the League of German uh, Girls, the Bund Deutscher Mädels. This is, of course, also a pink list killer. And this one probably as well, you know. And that's why I wrote here, they're all pink list killers. So I wrote here the pink list killers and their products. And they are getting bolder by the day. As a few years back at a petrol station on the motorway in France, I saw two of these tattooed beast women full of hatred, shouting and swearing at a little boy, completely humiliating the poor, helpless soul in front of all these people. And the poor kid with sort of broken eyes looked tragically into my eyes as if his eyes were saying to me, what's going on? Please, someone help me. I was drinking a bottle of expensive burgundy red wine, as things are about 10 times expensive on the motorway in France, and only top wines are being sold. And as you know, I just can't stand injustice. So I vociferated at the beast women that they should stop yelling at the boy as if he were a dog, and that it was not amusing for me and other people around to witness this tragic event, as if the other people around cared. Or are you two? Pinkless killer females with a child and with hatred for man, I asked them. Then they even threatened me and simultaneously behaving like, Oh, we are women. You are a man. You can't do anything back. <laughs> As if I gave a damn. I mean, if a beast woman wants to behave, like a man, uh, in my eyes, it's not a woman anymore, and not a female anymore, but a he-male. The whole thing almost ended up in a huge brawl on the motorway. Nowadays, I shut my mouth and do as anyone else, but instead do it this way and make this video, because I didn't forget it. Neither did I forget this little boy begging for help, and neither will I ever forget those beast women, because I know what they're doing. And they're getting bolder and bolder, since no one around dares to interact anymore, since Pharaoh's authorities have taken away the people's right to interact, help and stand up for justice. So look around, open your eyes and tell me here in the comments if you see the same phenomenon happening in your area wherever you are in the world, and leave your witness account here in the comments. The West is sick, deliberately sick. And I guess Mr. Perset from the House of Set, Lord of Darkness, and his ECHR, European Court of Human Rights, will not do anything against this to save these small defenseless children without a voice. Instead of that, he is having a chat with the Ayatollahs of Iran and thinking by himself, 
my European beast women in the West will deal with you guys and set up an army of Nazi serial killers to crush your civilization. All serial killers practice BTK, meaning bind, torture, kill, which happens also to be the very thing concentration god perverts loved to do, as they were selected or selected themselves for the job, just as serial killers do. Similarly, the tattooed beast women of our days are deliberately coercing young boys into an evil BTK product to be let loose on humanity in the next world war against humanity. So the BTK guys can finally liberate their anger, which they had to retain all those years. It all happens in visibly visible, right under our noses, and nobody does a thing.